Hello, if you are in the market for a mount that is around $2,000 and you are wondering what is the deal with the harmonic mounts that is available in the market, you are in the right place. In this video, we'll be discussing all about it and you are watching Browsing Axe. This mount weight around 5.5 kilograms and with the counterweight that it comes with it it can carry up to 20 kilograms with a counterweight and 15 kilograms without a counterweight it comes in a very sturdy foam case that it can protect it against any hit accidental hit and also very useful when you are moving the telescope and the mount around this case comes with a place to install your counter bar and your hand controller and even you will be able to install the connection plate for the AM5 mount with the TC40 tribe. Harmonic mounts has no backlash and this applies also to that mount and this is will be very helpful when it comes to astrophotography. Adjusting knobs for the polar alignment method is very sturdy, very hard and they are actually very smooth when it comes to the movement either the one that unlocks it or the vertical alignment here or the horizontal alignment here underneath the dovetail mount for your telescope there is two ports here one of them is USB-C the other is output power it, it can be used also for input power because input and export power is both working the same ways and this USB-C it's gonna be very helpful if you want to connect your mount to your ASI Air directly. The hand controllers that comes with this mount looks very innovative. It's uh, very different from the traditional uh, mounts that you usually get. Here you get a joystick for the directions up and down right and left and then if you click on that joystick inside it will activate the fast uh, movement so you have two speeds for this uh, hand controller you also have a point that mention the tracking fun functionality of the mount if this T is illuminated in red then your tracking is working and you can click on it and it you can disable tracking instead of going to ASI Air uh, the last button is the return button but if you keep pressing on it for about three to four seconds it will return your mount to the home position. Guiding precision is very great with this mount. Uh, I was able to get around 0.3 to 0.4 arc seconds when there is no wind and I'm using only one extra weight of three kilograms in the area inside your tripod that you can add weight to. However, with the high wind, I was able to get uh, up to two arc seconds in guiding, which is really bad. Uh, but when I added the extra weight in the tripod uh, pay, uh, which is up to 9 kilograms of extra weight, I was able to reduce that guiding uh, resolution up to 0.8 to 0.9 of guiding, arc seconds with guiding, which is perfect for most of exposures up to 5 minutes. At the back of your mount here, you have a few ports. The first one is your power port. The second one is your hand controller port. The third one is the guiding port, which you should not ever use for any reason because it's an old technology. And the last port is the USB port to connect your mount to your computer. However, uh, I will always recommend to use the one in the dovetail mount here which is the USB-C since first it's faster and secondly it's very convenient and it will prevent your cables from snapping on you since this one is usually moving with the mount and lastly you have a button here that is for Bluetooth this is specific to the AM5N mount it didn't come with the AM5 mount uh, the older version and this is will allow you to connect to your computer or your mobile with a bluetooth connection uh, from here directly to your phone the dovetail saddle plate for this mount is comes in two sizes so you can install either the smaller size or the big size of the dovetail 
The knobs for this dovetail saddle plate very high quality and it's very smooth when you are moving it. One of the advantages of this mount that it's very quiet if you're comparing it to a traditional mount. Even when you are rotating in both axes, you can barely hear it. And now for a final thoughts. If your telescope is weighing around 14 to 15 kilograms, including all the equipments that installed on it, by any means possible, get the AM5 mount. It's the perfect mount for this weight. It can carry up to, as we said, 15 kilograms without the counterweight and 20 with the counterweight. However, the harmonic mounts in general can reach its maximum uh, weight capacity. And this is something that you cannot say about normal traditional mounts. Normal traditional mounts, usually it's recommended to use only half of the maximum capacity of its weight for astrophotography to get the best gu guiding possible. However, for harmonic mounts, you don't need to do that. So even if the mount can carry only 15 kilograms as a maximum weight without the counterweight capacity, you can reach up to 14 or even 15 kilograms with that. My recommendation will be get this mount, install the counterweight and add a five kilogram uh, in the counterweight bar. And then if your telescope is about 15 kilograms, then this is, will be perfect for it. And you will guide with amazing quality with a very high resolution and your guiding will not exceed 0.7 to 0.8 in clear skies uh, around portal 4 to portal 5. Uh, my experience with portal 8 and portal 9 with this telescope is that I'm guiding with around 1.2 to 1.3 arc seconds. However, I think this is due to the low resolution of my camera, uh, guiding camera, which is the 120 mm. And in my next episode, I will sh share with you some tips and tricks about how to improve your guiding and how to get a better polar alignment for your telescope. Hopefully you got a better understanding of how this mount work and what is my recommendation. As always, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next episode.